Oh, there it goes. Good. All right. Hang on, let me fix my settings here. Yay, hey everybody. Yeah, I started a little later this time. Hold on. What will that do? That pops up in there. There we go. Go away. Ah, music. Well, I know what the music is. I want to turn it down. Hmm. How do I do that? Hey, Kayla. Hmm. Maybe starting at seven is a better idea for y'all then. Oh my God! Why did you get up at the butt crack of dawn? I mean, I appreciate you, Darky, my friend. But like, dang. That, that is quite, uh, quite the, uh, feat. Okay, hang on. <sighs> Audio settings are always what kills me. Wait a minute. Hang on. What if... Did that do anything? Right? Yeah. Um, so while I'm messing with the settings, I'll give y'all some background. So I purchased this game at Acon, which is a giant anime convention in Dallas. It's the longest running anime convention in the country, and it's the biggest one in Texas. So, I was wandering the, like, behemoth artist alley, and uh, all of a sudden, um... I popped upon this table that had like, you know, jewel cases. I'm like, are you selling music? And she's like, no, I'm selling games. And I'm like, games? What kind of games? And she's like, visual novels. And I'm like, I'm in. So I bought like two of them. This is one. This I believe is the most recent release unless I'm, uh, you know, behind. But it's about dragons and it's set in ancient China. So I'm like, yeah, man. I'm all over it. Uh, and Zeva gave me permission to stream. She is a lovely, lovely lady who does all these games, I think herself. And uh, she draws all the art. So yes, it is a gorgeous art style. She is wonderful. And I am so excited to play it. Oh, Thank you, Morgan. That's so sweet. No, I didn't see it. Um, honestly, my Tumblr messages are all kinds of messed up right now. I'll have to go back and double check. Uh, and if I still don't have it, then... Oh, sorry, I've been talking with my mouth full. Um, I just finished up my dinner. I had a Salisbury steak with onion and mushroom sauce and some rice. It was good. Quick, but delicious. Uh, leftovers from last night. Ugh, I just, I want to turn the music down. Play, continue... Yes, it was quite delicious and pretty easy to do in a pot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Eat exotic food, lost in the forest, goddess of the harvest. These are interesting little bits. I have no idea, like, I've never played any of her games before, so I don't know if she has little mini games thrown in there or extra, like, apparatuses you have to complete in order to, uh, you know, complete the game. But we are gonna find out, my friends. That's where the images are music. Okay. Extra bonus. Those I can't. Yeah. Well Hot Pot Crew. Yeah, buddy. I love me some hot pot. Man, it's starting to get cooler down here, like, miraculously. I don't know if that's just the after effects of the hurricane or whatnot, but, um, 
Yeah, I'm hoping that once it gets a little cooler, there's a hot pot joint in town, and I really want to go because hot pot is freaking delicious. Anyway. Well, I'm assuming y'all can hear me. You're in school doing drama. Are you at rehearsal or something? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it just expanded on me. My thinking noises. Oh! Wait a minute. Did that do anything? I'll just turn it down. Here. Okay. Well, hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna go ahead and jump in. I've been talking long enough. Heck yeah, hot pot. Man, Trish, I bet you know good hot pot. Oh man. Okay. We will play. Oh! Directional key. Enter, start game, end, quit game. Is there an end key on here? Yes. <laughs> Shows you how much uh, keyboards. Down, next dialogue, up, previous dialogue. Hold the key to skip dialogue quickly. Previous dialogue command does not work after animations, making a choice, or after a change of soundtrack. Left, first choice, up, second choice, right, third choice. <laughs> so many keyboard commands. Um... A is save, S is load, Z is diary, X is item, C is help. Okay, A is save, that's the important one. And C is help. <laughs> uh, left is first choice, up is second choice, right is third choice, and then you go up and down to, well, at least it gives you a chance to go back. Alright. <laughs> yeah, hopefully there will be like a little like answer key. So enter. Let's start the game. Episode zero, prologue. In my world, there is no such thing as color. Oh, can you see any numbers in these pictures? Hello. Um. Um, he looks concerned as I struggle, identifying the images in front of me. Let's try a different picture. How about this? Can you tell the difference between the two? Uh, I'm sorry. I turned to my mother, who was standing next to me. She looked distraught. It was as if I just did something wrong. How is it? How is my daughter? To tell you the truth, it's more severe than I thought. This is total color blindness, an extremely rare eye disorder. Your daughter cannot distinguish colors. She sees the world in black, white, and shades of gray. She also has trouble seeing things clearly when exposed to bright light. No, this can't be happening. I knew something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. The screen is too wide. Oops! Man. Do the thing. That's odd. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit more squarish, I guess. Why? <laughs> There's still this remnant over here. That's not in my window. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think. I think we got it. Okay. Is that good? Y'all can see? Cool. Alright. Continuing on. I knew something wasn't right. 
you always had trouble distinguishing certain types of foods, but I wasn't expecting anything like this. In my long years of work, this is the first time I have encountered something like this myself. As far as I know, this type of disorder is most likely inherited. Someone in your family must have had it. Now that you mention it, I did hear from my great-grandmother that a few of our ancestors had it. But for it to be fall onto my daughter... <laughs> Unable to bear seeing her look so miserable, I grabbed the edge of her clothes. Mother, did I do something wrong? No, my child. What? It doubled. What? What the heck? What is going on? What? What? Hold on. Let me, uh, ooh. let me hold still. Really? What is this? What? Oh, okay. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. Good. Whew. This game comes on a disc. <laughs> so I, I don't know if there's any like wonkiness with that. But alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Continuing on. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just that... It's just that... A disorder, or so they call it, called it. I was only three when my mother brought me to see a physician. If she didn't, I probably would have kept believing that everyone saw the same world as me. A world painted in nothing but shades of gray. Even then, I feel like I did I didn't feel like I lacked anything. Perhaps it was because I was born with it. I couldn't imagine what a world of color would look like. At least, not until that day. Oh, she's so cute! The Dragon Festival? Yep! Hmm. Oh, what's with that lack of reaction? It's the most important ever in the Three Kingdoms. I'm sure you heard about it before from your mother. There will be plenty of fun games to play, good food to eat, and best of all, fireworks to see. So? Come on, it's the fireworks! If we miss it, we won't be able to see it again for another ten years! You should be more excited. You know, I'm not particularly fond of crowds, parties, and the like. Oh, don't be such a party pooper! I promise it's gonna be fun! crowds. But I guess I don't mind accompanying my best friend. Yay! That's my Chion! Xiaoyan's face immediately lit up. Knowing that it would make her happy, I didn't hesitate to agree. Everyone's happiness is my happiness. So I believed. Wait a second. What's wrong? If we don't hurry, let's bring Mingjie with us. Huh? Her eyes twitched a little at the mention of his name. Do you have a problem with him? Um, this might sound horrible to you, but that boy is so clumsy. There are going to be many people in the festival. Don't you think it's too much for a boy who stays home all the time? Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. It'll be fine. Alright then, if you say so. Miss Chion and Miss Xiaoyan. Are you looking for the young master? I don't know why I gave her a British accent. We're in China, but I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, yes, we would like to invite him to the Dragon Festival. Please wait for a moment. I shall relay your message to him. Thank you. <sighs> He's a rich boy for sure. Being the son of one of the most influential families in the Three Kingdoms, the Ming family. 
It's probably every girl's dream to marry him. Are you planning to marry him? What are you talking about? This is about you. Oh, this is about you! Wrong person. You're so close to him, and both of you fancy books. Are you going to marry him when you grow up? I don't want to think that much about the future. Same. Besides, it's not up to me to decide. <laughs> Whoa, I'm just kidding. You don't have to take it so seriously. <sighs> oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> With the glasses. God, what voice should I use for him? I mean, he's a little boy. Jian, Jiao Yan! Ah, oh, Ming Jin! I heard that you were going to the Dragon Festival. Can I really go with you two? Of course. Th thank you! Alright, let's get going. It's pretty late already. We better hurry up or else we won't make it. You two follow me. I know a shortcut that would lead us straight to the Dragon's Arch. Got it. <laughs> Nod. <laughs> Nobody has eyeballs! <laughs> None of these NPCs have eyeballs. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Come on, this way! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Why are you slowing down? We won't, we won't make it at this rate. Mingjie, he... <sighs> Sorry, I cannot run any <sighs> faster. <sighs> I knew this would happen. Her disappointed look. Without even thinking, I... Zhao Yan, you can go first. Are you sure? Trying to look my most sincere, I nodded lightly. Well, if you're okay with it, then I'll run ahead and reserve the best spot for you guys. Thanks, Zhao An. Zhao Yan. <laughs> the running noises. I smiled, watching her back as she ran ahead of us with such happy vigor. Eyeball privileges only for the male characters. <laughs> I like that. Eyeball privileges. Mm. Alright. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't have to be. I'll be here with you. We can take our time. But we will miss the fireworks at this rate. That's right. The fireworks. Hmm? I don't think I'll ever understand why everyone is so fascinated by them. Why is that? I think they are very pretty and colorful. Colorful, huh? Come again? Oh, it's nothing. I guess I just don't like bright lights, that's all. At the time, I didn't sense the bit of sadness I held in my heart as I uttered those words. For that short moment, I was so drowned in my own thoughts that I barely heard anything Mingjie said. There is a large crowd coming our way. We had better move aside. Chion. <laughs> children! From behind, there was a group of children racing towards us, trying to get past. I was swept aside by the surge of people. Huh? It all happened in a split second. Oh no! No, my child, don't fall! Oh. <laughs> Hashtag free the eyeball. <laughs> no one knows the MC's plight. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't want to tell anybody? Who knows? Before I knew it, I had lost my balance. That looks like a very high up bridge. Please don't. No. It was as though the world was passing before my eyes. Chian! The last thing I remember was Mingjie's desperate cries for help as my body was thrown off the bridge. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Ooh. For a while, it was nothing but silence. 
The only noise that broke it was none other than the sound of my own heartbeats. I thought I had fallen into the depths of hell, but it felt so warm and comfortable. I began to think otherwise. It was surreal and strangely ethereal. As if I were in a dream. Hey. Huh? How long are you going to sleep on my back? Huh? A voice brought me back to reality. I opened my eyes, trying to make sense of my situation. Ugh. Where am I? Finally, you woke up. Woo! Color. I turned my head in an attempt to, to track the origin of the voice. That was when I met him, the one who changed my world forever. A golden light. So bright, it blinded me, and yet I couldn't pull my eyes away. For the first time ever, I experienced what is known to the world as color. Whoa! We own a dragon! A dragon? Oh, this must be the title sequence. Dragon Essence, Color My World. Oh, she's so pretty. I like her with colors. There's Chian. Ooh, Chanjo. Oh my god, Morgan called it again. He grew up to be attractive. Uh, Chanxi. Chanxi, I think that's it. Jewei, Jewei, I can't, it's, oh god, I haven't taken any Chinese, I don't know how to say these things. Oh, it's all so pretty. Oh, there's the dragon. It's glitching. Rude! Damn, that is odd. <laughs> Trippy mouse, hashtag mouse party. Okay. No. Oh, sorry it, like, disrupted your thing. Alright, the weather is great today. It's only that you have a childhood friend by us. I love it. It's the perfect time to go. Sister Jen, I'm going out now. Oh, she's cute! Bring the shadows up, she's adorable. Are you really leaving? Of course. I just went through the trouble of asking for Gramps' permission. There's no way I'm gonna let this chance go. I am aware of that. However, this is the first time you are going to the capital city. I cannot help but worry. Humans are complicated beings. I am afraid you might not have the capacity to deal with them. You are young and inexperienced. Who knows what awaits you there? Sister Jeanne. You're getting old, aren't you? <laughs> you preach just like Gramps. There are plenty of other things you ought to be more worried about. My age should be the last in that list. Is it possible to marry an art style? Same. Like, for example, Gramps is rather cranky without you by his side. You should accompany him more often. But, you know once I've decided on something, I won't go back on it. Indeed. My little nephew is nothing more than a stubborn fool. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine. Sister Jeanne, I haven't told anyone else but you. You know I've been waiting this for ten years. Nothing can stop me now. I'll definitely meet her today. Her? Who is her? Home? Oh! We are in a house! Safe? Oh! 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 Ho, 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 ho. I can turn the music off! But I want it on. It's pretty. 
Yes, the music is very pretty. I love it. I'm just hoping it's not too loud. I can only turn them on or off. That's annoying. Nope. Oh! Well, at least there's the, the thing. Okay. Yeah, I think she can see colors because of said dragon, but we'll have to find out. Alright, this should do. Hmm. Some ingredients are missing, Ugh, but it's a hassle going to the capital right now. It's just a couple of herbs. It might work out somehow. Knock, knock. Chion, are you there? Oh, it's our friend. She's so cute. I love her, like, hair and the flowers and stuff. Oh, Joyeon. Well, well, well. What do we have here? You may be good at many things, but you don't excel in cooking. What brings you to the kitchen? Well, <laughs> I'm trying something out. <laughs> the little sweat drop. I love that you can see her sprite all the time. That's good. Oh! Oh, it's a hot pot! Yes, good. I put all the ingredients into a bowl and proceeded to crush them into pieces. What are you doing? Oh, this is how it should be done according to the book I've read just now. Are you serious? What kind of book is that? Um, it's a cookbook, I guess. It was actually a book about medicines, but I'd rather say it was a cookbook. That would have saved me a lot of questions. I'll be frank, that looks nasty. Would you like to give it a try? I'm not so sure. I don't think you should judge a book by its cover. That's not too convincing. <laughs> Seeing how little my words went through her, I unwittingly gave her a silent glare. Hashtag Hot Pot Best Character 2017. This has become the Hot Pot stream. We are the Hot Pot Squad. Hey yo. Alright, alright. Just a little, okay? Here goes nothing. Oh. No, wait! Don't throw up! That's such a waste! Before I could finish my sentence, she runs out of the room. Uh, didn't your parents ever teach you not to waste food? You're the one who's wasting food here! That's beyond awful! Was it really that bad? Unconvinced, I grab the bowl and drink the remaining juice. It's not that bad. Seriously? Okay, maybe it's a little bad. You have a low standard for food. Well, I was missing a couple of herbs. That might be why. Don't make me try another incomplete experimental drink in the future. What's that for, anyway? Well... It has been ten years since the day I met a dragon. The very day I saw a golden light. Since then, I am unable to see the world as I used to. It's probably useless, but I want to heal my eyes. Why? If you can see color, that's good. Even if it's just a glimpse, I long to see that light again. I was trying to make herbal tea. I heard it's good for your health. You don't look like you need health drinks. It's for my eyes, but I can't tell you. When my mother discovered that the problem with my eyesight, she made me promise not to let anyone know about it. Ah, okay, okay. That's why I've been doing my best to hide it from everyone. Even from my closest friends. Or can she not see color anymore? I'm confused. So like, Okay, so she saw light when she met the dragon, but does she not see it anymore? Even though we can see it? Huh. Well, I want to become a little healthier. I don't get it. 
Knowing Xiaoyan, I don't think she would mind it, but I understand more than anyone why my mother did it. This isn't a world kind to people who are different. In any case, I better go get the remaining herbs from the capital city. Whoop! Ouch! That's cute. I grab my purse. I need some Juhua and Gold Key Gold Cheese <laughs> Excuse me if I butcher Chinese. I don't know anything about it really. Nine tails. That should be more than enough. Xiaoyan, do you want to come with me? Nah, I've got to help my parents take care of the inn. Oh, why don't you go ask Mingjie to accompany you? Mingjie? Uh-oh. That's a good idea. I'm not sure about that. Save! I'll just say that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Mingjie knows a lot of things. I'm sure he can help me identify the correct herbs. I'll do that then. Diary and item have been updated. Alright. Ooh! That's so cute! I love this! Farm, Arch, Ming's, Home, Capital, Pagoda, and Forest. Oh, I love this. This is fun. Alright, what's in the diary? Erin List. By Juha and Go. Go <laughs> At the capital city, and you have nine tails, nine money. Item purse. Jion's favorite purse. She always carries it everywhere she goes. It's like a good one. Cool. Today is pretty sunny. I'd better carry an umbrella. No, oh, that's so cute. Look how cute she is. That's adorable. Okay, I'm ready to go. Mingjie's house is right next to my house. House. Bings! Click. Knock knock! Oh, Miss Chion! I'm keeping the accent because you told me to. Is Mingjie home? My apologies, young master went out a while ago. You can leave your message to me and I shall relay it to him when he returns. No, that's alright. It's nothing important. I'm on my own. No, oh, darn. Okay. Time to go to the capital city. Capital. Click. This game is fancy. I am enjoying myself immensely. This is the first kingdom's capital city. The first, second, and third kingdom are what made up the three kingdoms. In comparison, our kingdom is well known for its wonderful climate, which made it an ideal, ideal place to harvest a variety of fruits and herbs. Plenty of people come here to stock and trade food supplies. Consequently, you can say that the first kingdom is perhaps the busiest of the three kingdoms. Naturally, its capital is always so crowded with people. Despite having to visit it frequently, it's not exactly a place I enjoy going. Should be around this corner. Ooh! Oh, I want some of that fruit. That looks so tasty. As usual, the market is bustling with people. Hey, how much is this? I want 20 of these. What? 50 tails? That's too expensive. The sound of people fighting for food echoes in my ears. Pushing, screaming, void of any consideration of their surroundings. It's daunting, but I know I won't be able to get any herbs if I don't dive into it. Excuse me. Please excuse me. I make my way to the store's front. What do you need, young lady? I, I need these herbs. Huh? My finger freezes the instant I realize I can't identify what's in front of me. No, I can't tell which one I need. Young lady! Uh, um, uh, I struggle to say something, but the surrounding crowd pushes me around as they yell at the shop owner, drowning my voice in it. Come on, where's my order? 
You, s I said I want 20 of these. Did you hear me? Make it cheaper. 10 tails. Ugh. It doesn't take me long before I lose all my concentration. I clutch my chest and gasp for air as my vision begins to blur. Just as I feel I'm about to collapse from all the madness. What do you want to buy? Uh, herbs. Which herbs? Juhua and go chi zi. Got it. Huh? That wasn't the shop's owner. Who was it? I turn my head around and search for the source of that voice. Oh! Hey, give me some Juha and go chi zi. Can't you hear me? I want some Juha and go chi zi. Here you go, the total is five tails. Five tails? What? Are you crazy? That's daylight robbery. I can get these much cheaper elsewhere. Make it two. What? That's too much. Four and a half. Two and a half, I won't pay any more than that. I have a family to raise, you know. Four. No. Three. Ah, just take them. <laughs> Once the hooded man gets his herbs, he grabs my hand and pulls me out of the crowd. Wait a second. Whew, I've always wanted to try haggling in the market. Did you see the shop owner's face? That was priceless! Ugh. Oh, right, before I forget. Here you go. He throws the bag of herbs right into my hand. Did you get them for me? Thank Why didn't you just say it out loud just now? Huh? Keeping quiet won't get you anywhere in the market. Look at all the people here. None of them are afraid to say what they want. When it comes down to it, you're the customer. You should just yell out what you want. I know that, but... I didn't know you were such a pusher. What? I appreciate your help, but you don't have to be so rude about it. Besides, I didn't ask for your help. Hmm. At least your purse is kind of cute. That's... Yep, it's yours. Where did you get it? You dropped it when you were trying to get past the crowd just now. And I just happened to pick it up. Give it back! No, I won't. Let this be my reward for getting those herbs for you. What? See ya. Wow, what a butt. Wait a second. You can't just decide that on your own. It's not just the money. There's something important to me in it. Please return it back. Hearing my plea, he pauses for a second before turning back. But what I get isn't my purse. It's his barely visible, ominous grin under that shady hood. Something important. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Now I really want this purse. What? If you want it back, you better catch me. Once again, he begins to run as soon as he finishes his sentence. This time, twice faster than before. In the blink of an eye, he slips into the crowd. No, not my purse! I rush into the sea of people in an attempt to not lose sight of him. There he is! I'm not going to give up so easily! Huh? Ah! Oh no, someone punched us! I didn't pay attention to my surroundings and ended up bumping into somebody. My apologies, I was not looking. Oh, it's Ming Jae, isn't it? He's the only one who talks like that. Are you alright? Huh? This familiar voice! It has to be! Mingjie! Woo! Called it! Martha dude! Mingjie! Achion! Can you stand up? Yes, thank you. I didn't expect to see you in the capital. I forgot to make his voice deeper. He's a man now. What brings you here? Well, I came to buy some herbs. More importantly, I scanned my surroundings in an attempt to find that hooded man. No, I lost him! Are you looking for someone? There's this strange looking guy who took my purse. 
I was trying to run after him just now. He should still be nearby. Let's go find him. <laughs> Nod. An hour later. Goodness me. <sighs> I... I'm sorry. I don't think I can go on. There are too many people here. Looking for him is like finding a needle in a haystack. I'm sorry. You would not have lost sight of him if it was not for me. No, it's not your fault. It's just my luck coming across that guy. Oh, excuse me. Is there anything important in it? I can ask my father to help looking for him. No, it's alright. It's just a few tales, nothing really important. You don't have to bother your father over something so trivial. I see. But I'm amazed. You used to be so frail, but now you can outrun me easily. <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of we went to the Dragon Festival many years ago. Oh no. <sighs> I'm still a weak person. You don't have to be so modest. It's perfectly fine to be proud of things you've worked hard for. Speaking of which, didn't you just take the scholar's exam? Yes. I'm sure with your skill, you won't have any problems. Among so many people I know, you're the only one who mastered all four arts. Music, chess, calligraphy, and painting. I have no doubt that you'll become a great scholar. I really hope so, too. It's one of my dreams to become a great scholar, just like my father. <laughs> Childhood friend bias confirmed. One of your dreams? What are your other dreams? <laughs> to marry you? I'm calling it now. Mm -hmm. Let me accompany you back home. Sure. Mother! Oh, Chion, you're back. Good afternoon, Auntie Zhang. Mingjie, you're here too. Please have a seat. Uh, thank you. I noticed the piles of gifts on the table. Must be New Year's. Did someone come by? Yes, Mingjie's parents paid us a visit just now. Oh, 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 or is it, is it a proposal? Are they proposal gifts? Ooh, what's happening? They, ah, ha, 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 ha. they came for the marriage proposal and gave us these betrothal gifts. Once they decide on an auspicious date, we will have to start preparing for your marriage ceremony. Oh, I see. Don't you think it's still far too early? Chi'an is not yet 18. Oh, Lord. She'll be in a few weeks. Your father said the faster the better. They are excited to have Chi'an enter your family. Oh. Chi'an, ever since your father's death, I've always dreamed for this day to come. I'm so happy for you. Mother, please take care of my daughter, Minji. I will. Dang, like, <laughs> the way to drop it on us, guys. I can go back on my own. You don't have to come with me. Yes. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Chion. Huh? Are you really fine with this marriage arrangement? If you... If you don't like it, I can ask my father to withdraw it. This is something that has been decided since a long time ago. Don't worry. We get along well, don't we? I'm sure we'll be fine in the future, too. I guess I'm still too nervous. I want to become a much better man, for your sake. I feel I'm not yet... What are you talking about? You're fine the way you are now. Have more faith. Hmm. 
You are right. I don't know what the future holds, but I can promise at least this much. I will treasure you for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, arranged marriages aren't my thing, but Mingjie is so sweet. What a good boy. He is so good. Mingjie. Thank you. I stand quietly as I watch him leave. Mingjie is a very nice person. We got along well ever since we were children. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure. Mm. Hey, you look like you're about to cry. What's that butthead from earlier? <gasps> you! You're that thief from earlier! Thief? Did you mean me? Of course! You took my purse without permission! Return it now, thief! With a light jump, he escaped to the rooftop. If you want to get it back, you'd better try harder than that. Ugh. No, it's all right. You can have it. What? There are things in this world that aren't meant to be yours. This is my fate. Then I... Oh, no, she's crying. Don't cry. Wait a second. What are you talking about all of a sudden? I was just teasing you. <laughs> Come. Huh? With that same hand that grabbed mine earlier, he pulls me away once more. What are you doing? Let me go. Shh. Just follow me. Where are you taking me? To a really awesome place. What? Don't worry. We're almost there. Huh? I can feel my heart beat faster as I follow the stranger in front of me. I don't understand why I don't try harder to get away from him. Oh yeah, he's definitely the golden dragon. Of course he is. Duh. I don't even know where he's taking me to. Yet there's this tingling sensation growing as I follow him. Is it fear? Is it excitement? I can no longer tell. Woo, pretty. Here we are. This is the mountainous area that surrounds the three kingdoms. It's not that far from the capital, but this is the first time I've ever been here. Look, <gasps> ain't it beautiful? You can see the horizon clearly from here. Why did you bring me here? You look like you have so many things pent up inside. Over here, you can shout your frustration as much as you want. What? Don't worry, there's no one here besides you and I. He takes a deep breath before yelling across the mountains. I hate carrots! <laughs> what a thing to yell off a mountain. C carrots? Why carrots? Ah, okay, that feels good. Now it's your turn. H huh? But... Come on, try it! The idea is so outrageous. Normally, I would have brushed it off. But as I gaze into the vast land, together with the gentle breeze that dances around me freely, a surge of emotion begins to overcome me. Oh my goodness. Ugh. The feeling that the world is so huge, yet everything is within my reach. That I can do anything without a care in the world. A feeling I've never felt before. What should I say? Anything that bothers you right now. Then... I... I want my purse back! That's not loud enough. It's not effective if you don't shout at the top of your lungs. Come on, give it your best shot. I WANT MY PURSE BACK! <laughs> oh, that's the way to go. Do you feel slightly better now? Hmm. What's with this guy? He's making me do weird things. I'm too embarrassed to admit that he's right. Here you go. Yay, my purse. He hands my purse back to me. Oh, 
You seem to treasure that purse a lot. Yes. There's something very important in it. Oh, dragon scale! I take a piece of golden scale out of my purse. <gasps> I met a dragon ten years ago. This dragon scale is a memento he gave me. For someone like me, this is the only way to see a glimpse of that light. Mm. I'm sorry. That probably sounded like a crazy story to you. You don't have to believe me. No. I believe you. Oh, the hood has come off. The wind blows his hood away and reveals his face underneath. <gasps> it has been a long time. But I still remember clearly that image that was burned in my memory forever. The brilliance of what is known to the world as color. G golden hair! It's me, Tanjo. It's been ten years, hasn't it? I'm glad to see you again, Chion. Chan... Cho. A dragon? Ooh! End of rep episode one. Chan Zhao represents freedom. Ming Jie represents responsibility. Ooh! That's some good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's do another chapter. One more. One more chapter. Episode two. Dragon. How many episodes are there in this thing? Ah, I don't know. A droop. Let's save. Gotta save. A dragon? Were you the one who saved me? It's a pure coincidence. You just ended up on my back by accident. Even so, I, I might not have survived without you. Thank you. Think nothing of it. It's your luck that saved you. Mm. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen a dragon before. It's so big and beautiful. I've never seen a human before either. It's a lot smaller than I thought. But you don't seem to be any different from my elders when they're in their human form. Human form? Does that mean you can change into a human? Eventually I will, but I can't do that right now. I'm still too young. My magical powers are limited. It takes plenty of magical power to change our appearance, which is why we're unable to do so until we reach adulthood. But you're already so big! <laughs> I may look like this, but I think we're around the same age. Really? I didn't know. Everyone worships the dragons. But I feel we don't really know anything about you guys. Well, I don't know much about humans either. I heard stories, but meeting one on my own is a totally different experience. I feel the same too. How about this? Oh, that's so cute! Let's be friends! <laughs> Boop the snoot! She booped the snoot. <sighs> that way, we can understand each other. My name is Chion. What's yours? I'm Tian Zhao. It's nice to meet you, Tian Zhao. Can I come visit you again sometime? That sounds fun, but... I don't actually live here. Then where do you live? Right above the mist, the dragon's realm. Actually, we're not allowed to leave without Gramps' permission. Gramps? My grandpa. You see, he forbids us from leaving the mountain. But it's really boring up there, so... You sneaked out! Yep. I didn't know dragons can be disobedient, too. <laughs> it's late. I better leave. If Gramps finds out, I'm gonna be in deep trouble. He'd tie me up if I run around too much. What a scary grandpa. He is. 
When he gets angry, a mere glare can make the volcano tremble along with him. Ugh, scary. Yeah, that's why I've got to go. See you, Chion. It was short, but I'm really glad to have met you. Wait! Will I... Will I see you again? Huh? Is it not possible? I don't think we can. I see. At least not right now. Hmm? Ten years. That's right. I'll be old enough by then. I'll go see you when I'm old enough to leave the mountain. You will? Yep. It's a promise. Take this. Huh? What's this? A dragon scale. That'll be the mark of our promise. As long as you hold on to it, I'll be able to find you in no time. I... I'll treasure this forever. <laughs> Let's meet again, Chion. that transcend humans. Gods. At the tender age of seven, I didn't really understand what that meant. Oh. Don't ever mention this again! Why? I didn't do anything wrong. Do you know what you're talking about? Dragons are gods. How can you be friends with a god? That's unthinkable. You're being disrespectful to them. But Chan Zhao promised me that he... No, Qian, please. Don't ever say that again. I beg you. I've never seen my mother look this angry before. What I had done, was it really so terrible? I'm sorry. Did you really say that to your mom? Yes. I'm not surprised that she got mad. But I'm not lying. I really did meet a dragon. Are you sure you weren't daydreaming? No, I wasn't. That beautiful golden light, it was definitely real. Look, I have the proof here. Maybe you unconsciously picked that up from somewhere? Xiao Yan! Okay, okay. Even if you did meet a dragon, what are you gonna do? Huh? Don't forget that they're gods and we're just humans. To be friends with gods, that's just crazy! It's better to forget about it and move on. No one believed me. Perhaps it was all a dream, a hallucination, just as they said. Even if it wasn't, it didn't matter. I've decided to bury that memory away. I kept telling myself not to expect anything. And yet... Here he is, standing right in front of me. Keeping a promise he made ten years ago to a girl he barely knows. It's getting late. It's a shame now that we finally met. I don't want to leave so soon. But I've got to go. You know your way back, right? Yeah, but... I'll be in the capital city tomorrow, too. Don't forget to find me, okay? See ya. Oh, well, wait! Faster than I could blink, he disappears. <sighs> Tianzhou. It's really him. This isn't the dream, right? Item has been un updated. I was about to say unpacked. Excuse me. Oh, hiccups. <laughs> uh. Hello, Scout. Nice to see you. Ugh. I'm home. Where did you go? It's already this late. I'm sorry. You are going to be a part of the Ming family soon. You can't afford to be so willful. <sighs> yes, mother. Did something happen? No, no, it's nothing. I'm going to sleep. Wait! What about your dinner? 
Cheon! Cheon! <sighs> that girl. Everything is so unreal. The warmth of his hand as he pulled me still remains. As I hold on to the piece of the dragon scale tight into my palm, I close my eyes and ponder. Was that really a dream? The next day. Are you okay? You didn't eat anything yesterday. Don't worry, I'm fine. You have to learn how to take care of yourself. Don't make me worry like this again. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Hey! It's Clary! Long time no see, my friend. Glad you're here. I've prepared breakfast for you. It's your favorite manto. Ooh, dumplings. Steamed buns. I'm into it. Come here and eat. My mother has always been so kind to me. At times like these, I feel sad for not being the daughter she hopes for. How is it? It's really good. I'm glad. It's almost spring. I'm going to be busy at the farm. You can come help me if you want. I will. I'm going then. Later. Chion, congratulations! I knew it was her. Whoa! Whoa, did I really scare you that much? Don't appear so suddenly from behind. Sorry, sorry. I came here straight after I heard the news. Congratulations. Huh? Why are you in a daze? I'm talking about your marriage. So it's official. Mingjie and you are finally going to get together. Xiaoyan seems more enthusiastic than usual. Oh, right. What's with that reaction? It's your big day. You should be more excited. You're right. There's something else on your mind. Spill it. What is it that could bother you more than your big day? Hmm. Should I tell her? It's probably pointless, but... <sighs> I met a dragon. <laughs> what? Do you remember ten years ago? It's the same dragon who promised me that he would come see me. <sighs> Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg, are you? Have I ever joked about something like this before? Where did you meet him? I met him in the market yesterday. You're not daydreaming again, are you? I wish I was. <sighs> hey, Chaoyan. Why aren't we allowed to get close to dragons? Isn't that obvious? They are... I know. They are gods and we are humans. But still. When I met him, I didn't think we were all that different. You know that's a blasphemous thing to say. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. You're right. They are different from us. They are beautiful, magical, and seemingly out of reach. That's probably why I can't help but be drawn to them. I want to know more about them. I still dream of it to this day. Chion, there are lines that you shouldn't cross, and this is definitely one of them. Some dreams are better left off as dreams. You have a bright future ahead of you. You better not do anything foolish. Even Xiaoyan's stern glare today is a little more than usual. Anyway, I'm going back to the inn. What are you planning on doing today? I haven't decided yet. I'll probably go help my mother at the farm. I see. I'm leaving then. Come visit me when you have time. I will. Some dreams are better off left as dreams. 
For the next little while, that line keeps ringing in my head. Diary has been updated. Woo! Back at the map. Where should I go? Oh, let's look at the diary. Help mother at the commoner's farm. Visit Shaoyan at the capital city. Okay. Let's go help at the farm. Let's go help mom. I love the scarecrows. This is the commoner's farm. It's a workplace for the majority of people in this kingdom. Oh, say. Hmm. It's especially busy during the spring, the month of the harvest. Chion! You came at the right time. It might be difficult for you, but we really need some help at the moment. And what do I need to do? Just follow the directions we give you, and you should do fine. I understand. Oh, it's a mini game, isn't it? Yep! Oh, she's so cute in her farming outfit. Click on the rice to collect them. Collect the correct amount indicated before the time limit to clear the lawn. Be careful not to make a wrong move or you'll get penalized. Click on the rice. Aim for big rice, for small rice. 15 seconds. Here we go. For big rice, for small rice. Congratulations! You earned two tails. Would you like to continue? Yes, she's so cute! Oh! Five big rice, five small rice. Challenge! Fifteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Woo! Congratulations! You earned two tails. Would you like to continue? One more. Six big rice, six small rice, 15 seconds. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! All right, let's quit. <laughs> Yay! We earned the monies. All right, we will do the rest on our own. Don't forget to go back home before the sun sets. So you earn the monies to do the things at the farm. Where should I go? We have to go to the capital, right? All right so we helped mom visit Xiaoyan at the capital city. And we have to visit Chanzhou as well. Capital city. Before I realize it, I'm already at the capital city. Let's save. I'm going to write over that one. He said he'll be here today. For the next few minutes. I walked back and forth across the city's gate, as if I was waiting for him to come. Mm. What am I doing? Am I still hoping for something to happen? Since I'm already here, I might as well go see Xiaoyan. Oh, that's cute! This inn is run by Xiaoyan's parents. It's not terribly large, but the food and wine are some of the best in town. Many like to come here for a taste of local delicacy. I want to have a taste of local delicacy. What's in the pots in the back? I come here often to meet Xiaoyan. Sometimes I help her when the inn gets too busy. In exchange, she lets me eat for free. Heck yeah. Tian! Hi. Have you had your lunch already? If you haven't, I can pick something for you in a minute. Thanks. So, what do you want? Noodles, dumplings, stinky tofu? Let's see. Yeah, noodles. I think I'll get some noodles. I'm always down for some noodles, y'all. Got it. I'll be back in a minute. Hey! Bring me some booze! A voice can be heard right behind me. A voice I recognize well. You are drunk? Why are you drunk in the middle of the day? Uh, I want your finest wine! Did you not hear me? I got it! I got it! Oh, it's wine in the jars! Here you go! Perfect! This is what I've been waiting for! Go, go, go! Oh, this is heaven! Nothing can beat this! Chanto? Oh, 
Whoop! Chio, I'm glad to see you again! What are you doing here? Oh, what are you doing here? Sorry, her voice, not his. Ain't it obvious? It's the rice wine! I heard from the people around here that this inn has the best rice wine in town. There's no way I'm gonna miss this. Uh, I see. Why am I getting nervous all of a sudden? Come on, you should have some too! Huh? He pours some wine into my cup. I stare at it hesitantly. What's wrong? It tastes really good! Uh, okay. I force myself to have a sip, but my expression immediately gives it away. Ugh. Stop that. If you don't like it, you shouldn't force yourself. I'm sorry. Hmm. You really like rice... Rice wine? Blah, 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 blah. You really like rice wine, don't you? Does every dragon love them? No, of course not. Gramps really hates them. He insists that tea is the true Chinese beverage, and he basically tells us to drink tea like water every day. Ain't he crazy? How does that even compare? Rice wine is the true Chinese beverage. Don't you think so? Uh... I almost wanted to tell him that I'd prefer tea over rice wine any day. I guess so. Hmm. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. Yes! Noodles! Oh, I love noodle soup so much. Woo! Shion special noodle soup. Yum. Thanks! The wonderful aroma of the food is making my stomach rumble. When it comes to cooking, no one's better than Shaoyan. Wait, before you eat, come here for a second. Huh? She pulls me to the corner of the room. He's gonna eat my food while I'm gone, isn't he? Don't eat my food. What's wrong? That should be my line. Since when did you know such a suspicious looking hooded man? Who is he anyway? Oh, he took my purse yesterday. What? He's a thief? I'll teach him a lesson. No, no, Xiaoyan, he's not. I mean, he's... Tell her the truth. Lie about it. Save. He's safe. We gotta tell her the truth. Tell her the truth! To tell you the truth, he's actually the dragon I told you about this morning. What? No way! I can't believe it! I thought he was just some hoodlum! Well, dragons can choose to appear like normal humans. Or so I heard. Really? Are you sure you didn't just get deceived by him? I know that's him for sure. He emits the same golden light I saw years ago. Huh? Golden light? What golden light? In any case, please keep this a secret. I don't know what will happen if people find out about it. I'm not sure what's going on, but that's probably the wiser choice. Hmm. Xiaoyan gives Chan Zhao an intense stare before whispering back to me. Hey, Qian. I don't really want to repeat this again, but you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't even grasp the feeling I have now. Hey! I want to order something! Okay, okay, I'm coming. Sorry, I'm too busy right now. Let's talk later. Mm. I return to my seat. Is it just me? But... Doesn't... Yeah, I knew he was going to eat it. Doesn't there seem to be less soup than usual? Oh, I tried a little just now. You did what? It's called sharing! I shared my wine with you earlier, didn't I? Oh, I'm disappointed, though. I thought I could get to eat something different from what I usually ate. Do dragons eat noodles? Of course! And plenty of rice, too. And here I was hoping for something more exotic. <laughs> exotic, huh? By the way, your friend was staring at me pretty intensely just now. What did you two talk about? Well... She thought you were some hoodlum. Me? A hoodlum? I can't really blame her, considering your appearance. 
Why do you wear your hood again? Are you saying it doesn't suit me? <laughs> no, I mean, you look kind of suspicious in it. No one really wears a hood like that in broad daylight. Is that why you mistook me as a thief yesterday? Well, you did steal my purse. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just teasing you. You see, my hair color is a bit unusual around here. I don't want anyone to know who I am. Do all dragons have golden hair? Is that how you differentiate dra- Ugh, I keep mixing up their voices. Ah, bleh. Okay. Is that how you differentiate dragons from humans? <laughs> Did I just ask a weird question? Nah, it's just that you've been asking me nothing but dragon questions just now. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm glad, though. To be honest, I was a little worried. It's been ten years after all. But I'm happy that you didn't change at all. You still have so much interest in us. I don't tell I don't mind telling you more, but this ain't a good place for it. You'd never know if anyone's listening. You're right. Talking to him like this makes it easy to forget that we are supposed to view them as gods. I can't imagine what will happen if people discover a dragon walking around the city. Phew! I guess that's enough booze for the day. If I get drunk, Gramps might find out and scold me. He said that casually after finishing his fifth jar of wine. Oh my god, how big are those jars? Jesus. Oh my god. I mean, I guess he's a dragon. I don't know how, like, dragon alcohol tolerance is, but, like, wow. In any case, thanks for the treat. Huh? Bitch, I am not buying you all of this wine. What do you mean by treat? I don't have any money, you know. We really don't have anything like this at home. W wait a second. Don't tell me. Help me say thanks to your friend, too. See ya. He runs before I could say a word. God damn it. Ugh. Huh? I'm glad I went and worked on the farm before this. Damn. Where's that guy? Um, he ran away. What? So he is a thief after all. I'm sorry, I'll pay for him. Nah, forget it. It's not your fault. Besides, there's no way I could ever ask dragons for money. <laughs> if he's the real thing, that is. Hmm. For some reason, it makes me really happy when Tian Zhao, Tian Zhao said that I didn't change at all. He didn't change either. Still mischievous and rebellious as ever. I can't help but smile whenever I think about it. Chian, are you listening to me? Hey! I was so lost in thought that I didn't hear her. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say just now? Chion, seriously, what's the matter? You're always in a daze lately. Huh? Am I? Mm. Hey, Chaoyan, do you know anyone who's really knowledgeable in dragons? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, I was just curious, that's all. I can think of one. The Dragon Priest, whom you can find at the Pagoda of the Dragon Temple. I'm sure no one knows more about them than him. Oh, that's a good one. Why didn't I think of that just now? Oh yeah, there's also a rumor about a monster who sort of resembles the dragon living in the Jade Forest. That's right. I've heard about it, I've heard about it before too. I wonder if it has anything to do with the dragons. I guess it's worth a look. Hold it right there. What are you planning now? Did you just ignore everything I told you this morning? Yes. Like, really? You shouldn't get yourself too involved with them. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Are you sure? Yeah. If you say so. I'm sorry, Saoyan. I know you're concerned about me, but I can't help myself. I tried to bury this feeling for many years, but... The more I see him, the more I can't contain my curiosity. Those magnificent beings we called gods. I want to know more about them. So much, I can't sit still no matter how hard I try. 
diary has been updated. Alright. The pagoda or the forest, huh? Time to go find out about them dragons. Okay, so we're in the capital. Let's go to the pagoda and then go to the forest. We'll make a little... And then we'll head home, so it'll be a circle. Alright. Pagoda. Ah, oh, my mouse is being stupid again. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Hello. The Pagoda of the Dragon Temple. This is the place where the people worship the dragons. Nowadays, it has become commonplace for people to come and pray for something. Be it health, fortune, reputation, love, or luck. The one in charge of the temple is the Dragon Priest, the most respected figure in the First Kingdom. Shu Wei, the current generation dragon priest, took his position around eight years ago. I've never actually met him up close before. I have, however, heard plenty of rumors about him, like how different he is from the previous dragon priest. Hmm. I don't think they will let commoners like me meet him so early. Uh, easily. But since I'm already here, I might as well try. Maybe I should ask the guards over there. <laughs> Look at him! I love it! Oh my god, his hair! I like his weapon, too. That's pretty cool. Excuse me? Hmm? Who are you? Uh, my name is Chion. I wish to meet the Dragon Priest. What business do you have with Lord Chu? Uh, I want to ask a few questions. What questions? Um, well... Hmm... You're very suspicious. Don't tell me you came here to assassinate Lord Shu. Huh? Makao! How many times do I have to tell you this? No one's atrocious enough to assassinate someone as honorable as Lord Shu. Lord Shu is indeed the greatest man on land. I'll give you that. But Kaoyun, you're too naive. It's our duty to protect the Lord. We must stay vigilant at all times. Right, right. I'm sorry that the guy beside me here is such a knucklehead. You can totally ignore him. Fab Defense Force. <laughs> huh. It's your fault if Lord Shu is hurt. Yes, yes, I'm sure our Lord will be hurt if he knows what you've been doing. Um, if I may... Yes? What kind of person is Lord Shu? I've heard many stories about him, but I've never actually met him in person before. Oh, you came to the right place. We know more about Lord Shu than anyone else in this kingdom. He's the most brilliant man to ever live. Yes, the man of all men. The master of all masters. The bravest of all braves. The man of all men! Hey, I already said that. Don't repeat my line. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't really learn anything about the guy other than he's apparently a very great man. So, like, what's so great about him? What? You came here without knowing why? Of course she doesn't know. That's why she came here, right? Hmm. <laughs> Let me educate you, then. Listen, Lord Zhu differs from any of the previous priests in that he actively develops our kingdom. I heard that before, but I also heard that some of the elders don't like all the changes he's making. They feel that he's abusing his authority. That's because they are stuck in the mentality of the past. The dragon priest is supposed to be the one who connects people and dragons. A religious figure, if I must say. They don't like the fact that Lord Shu uses his authority to change the inner system of the kingdom. <laughs> Lord Shu hasn't done anything wrong. From the day he took over the position, he's been working very hard to make sure everyone lives in prosperity. He assigns jobs to the poor, gives them a place to live, builds schools to educate the children, and encourages trading with the other kingdoms. Without him, the first kingdom wouldn't be where it is today. 
if you compare that to the dragons who do essentially nothing. You talk too much, Macau. Hoof! I only speak the truth. Is it just me, or... They don't seem to have good opinions of dragons. I wonder why. In any case, Lord Shu is too busy with his work right now. I don't think he has time to meet you. If you have any questions, we can answer them for you. No, it's okay. It's nothing important anyway. Somehow, I feel that they aren't the right people to ask about the dragons. I'd better leave now. Uh, I'll take my leave. I apologize if I caused any trouble for you two. Well, I guess that's that. Oomph. I still think she's suspicious. Why did she even bother to come here in the first place? I think you're overthinking it, as usual. Macau Kao Yun! Ooh! I thought he was gonna be an old man! I was wrong. Very pretty. Is something the matter? Lord Shu! There was a girl who wanted to meet you just now. A girl? Hmm, interesting. Uh-oh, I don't like that face. Is he an evil lord? And he has green hair. Is Well, I was about to say, is he a dragon? But then the guards would have to be dragons. I don't know. Weird. Hmm. I don't, you're pretty, but I don't know if I trust you. Maybe I'll find something else if I go to the forest. Let's do it. Save. Jade Forest, also known as Fei Kui Lin. There are a lot of scary rumors about this place. Some said it connects to the underworld. Others said that once you enter, you can never go back. Basically, all these rumors boil down to one thing. They are to prevent people from coming here. And the most recent rumor, a monster that resembles a dragon lives here. I don't believe the rumors, and yet, here I am. Hmm. What a beautiful forest. I just don't see what's so sinister about this place. Alright then. Which path should I take? Save! Alright guys, where do y'all want to go? Left or right? Tell me, tell me. Well, I wait for a response. A snack. Left or right? Right or left? Where y'all want to go? Mm -hmm. All right, if y'all don't make a decision, and I don't know, or 30 seconds, I'm gonna make it for you. Going? Right, we're still going. Left! Clary says left. We're going left. There's nothing here! <laughs> Which path should I take next? The right one. <laughs> Why did she even put another option there if there's nothing? That's ridiculous. Alright, we go to the What? There's nothing here either! I'm starting to feel that I'm just wasting my time. Um. Right again? Uh oh. Am I lost? Oh, achievement unlocked! I'd better retrace my steps and start over. Does that mean I have a map? Okay, I'm back at the beginning. Maybe I should try alternating between paths. Left? There's nothing here. Which path should I take next? Right? Nothing here. Wasting my time. Left? 
Ah! There we go. So we had to go left, right, left. A river. Whew. Let me rest here for a bit. I kneel next to the river and scoop up some water with my hands. Ah, oh, it's so fresh. I was getting a bit exhausted from all the walking, but the calming atmosphere in the fresh water quickly gets me back to shape. Hmm. I wonder how far I've walked. There doesn't seem to be anything here. At least I get to experience the wonder of nature, so it's not a completely pointless trip. Uh-oh, something's in the bushes. Huh? It's not some wild animal, is it? I don't think anyone mentioned anything about that. If it isn't, then... Who is there? H huh? A human? What are you doing here? Leave! I I'm sorry! I heard that there's a monster that resembles a dragon living here. I, I didn't mean to trespass or anything like that. A monster? Did you mean me? Oh, precious baby! No! A young boy? No. It doesn't take me long to notice the horns on his head. A dragon? Dragon? No. I am not a dragon. But the horns! I am not a human either. Huh? I guess monster is appropriate. No, baby, you are so cute! No, no, I didn't mean to imply you were a monster. It is fine. I am used to it. You can leave now that you've seen me. The monster you were searching for. Oh, wait! Are you sure you're not a dragon? I... I've seen one before. He's very different from you, but... I can't quite explain it. You two feel alike, somehow. What do you mean? <laughs> So pretty. He doesn't notice it himself. Or perhaps no one but me who can actually see it. A faint light emits the gray scenery. It's so soft, barely visible. But I know it's there. You're a strange human. What's your name? Huh? Don't you have one? I used to. But I do not use it anymore. No one has asked me that before. He narrows his eyes as if he were confused. <laughs> little cinnamon roll, he is a little cinnamon roll. I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Chansi. Uh, uh? What did he just say? Goodbye. Oh, wait! Oh, he ran. He disappears into the forest in a blink of an eye. Tian Si. That's his name, isn't it? Is he related to Tian Chou? But he said he's not a dragon. What in the world? I tried looking through the forest again, but he's nowhere to be found. I decide to leave before the sun set. No, oh, it's already this late. Mother just scolded me yesterday, too. This isn't good. I'd better hurry. Fump? Huh? Is it just my imagination? I thought I heard something. Oh, more thumping. Huh? It's clear that the sound is closing in. I heard this area is pretty dangerous at night. Don't tell me. Uh-oh. No! I scream at the top of my lungs the instant someone covers my eyes. Guess who? It's your favorite shithead! Huh? That voice. It was unmistakably his. I remove his hands away from my eyes. Chanjo! Bingo! You got a full score. 
His hair shines bright golden even at night. What are you doing here? I thought you left a while ago. Oh, I was hanging out in the city just now. I thought I could find you later, but I guess the city is way too big. I couldn't find you no matter how hard I looked. I guess we should come up with a better place for a meetup next time. Well, I went to the pagoda in the forest just now. <laughs> no wonder you couldn't find me. Huh? Why did you go there? Um, I was looking for something, I guess. You lost your purse again? No, of course not. Next time you should bring me with you. We can look for it together. I told you, it's not the purse. But, yeah, let's go together some other time. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, it's already so late. I need to go home now or my mother will get really angry. I hear ya. Gramps is gonna strangle me for real this time. <laughs> How about this? Let's meet at the city gate tomorrow morning. Okay. See ya. Ooh, big sis. And she leave. Just as quick as she came. As expected, I was grounded. But for some strange reason, I don't feel as bad as the day before. My mind is filled with anticipation for what might happen the next day. There's never a time where I wish for the next day to come sooner. The next day. Xi'an, how many times do I need to tell you? You shouldn't. You must. It seems that my mother hasn't had enough of what happened yesterday. I I'm sorry. I won't do it again. You said that two days ago, and look what happened yesterday. I'm really sorry. <sighs> anyway, Mingjie's parents want to see you. Go pay them a visit this afternoon. Huh? This afternoon? But I promised Chenzhou. Do I have to? Of course! What's wrong with you lately? You are never this rebellious before! Her words pierced me a little. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll definitely go. <sighs> I'm going to the farm now. You can come help me after you visit Mingjie's parents. I understand. Be careful. <sighs> oh. I made her angry again. I don't I know I shouldn't have done that, but I couldn't help myself. Whenever I think about the dragons, I always get lost in thought. What's wrong with me, huh? I wonder too. Mm. Oh, welcome back, Morgan. Oh yeah, so yeah, we met Cinnamon Roll Chanshi. Chanshi. He was a little like forest boy nymph thing. We're not exactly sure what he is, but he has horns on his head. Uh, and then Tianxi was like, meet us, meet me at the, the city gates tomorrow, I want to see you. And she's like, yeah, sure, but then mom grounded her, and now we have to go see childhood friend's parents to talk about the marriage, allegedly. So, we're gonna go do that. I'd better go see Tian Zhao and tell him that I can't hang out with him today. <laughs> I love that's how, that's her first thing on her mind. We are supposed to meet here. I glance around the gate and attempt to look for him. Where is he? Did I come too early? No, it's almost noon. He's not teasing me again, is he? He will not come. Oh, it's Big Sis, isn't it? Yep. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh man, I'm feeling the need to cosplay. She is so gorgeous. I love that blue hair. Maybe I'll just get a blue hair. Huh? You are Qian, are you not? My name is Huan Zhen. I am Qian Zhao's aunt. Uh, aunt? Then you're also a dragon. Yes. I may be his aunt, but our age is not that far apart. We grew up together like siblings. Zhao has always told me everything. He has also told me about you. Uh, please desist before it is too late. What do you mean by that? I saw it yesterday. 
I may be overthinking it, but you are probably more special to him than he thinks. It is only a matter of time before he will finally realize. Humans and dragons can never be together. If this continues, both of you will get hurt. Uh, why? I just want to be friends with him. Why is that so hard to understand? Why is everyone stopping us? Is it because I'm a human? Mm. It is not that simple. What lies between humans and us is far deeper than what you can imagine. It is not something that can be resolved by a mere bond. I cannot stop Zhao from doing what he wants. So, the decision must lie with you. If you chose to pursue this futile relationship, you may not only endanger Zhao's life, but you may also endanger your own surroundings. Your family, your friends, and yourself. Stop before it goes too far. Please. Do not ever meet with him again. <laughs> visit the forest first to get Chanshi, then visit... Oh! Visit the pagoda first to get Chu Wei. Huh. Does that mean it's deciding or I don't know what that means. Are these all romantic options? I thought it was just Dragon Boy and Childhood Friend, but apparently not. Alright, I think that is a good stopping point. We're going to call it a day. Next Wednesday we will be back. We're going to find out more about the dragons. We're going to uh, go and find out more about the little cinnamon roll in the forest. Uh, and more about that very mysterious and slightly dangerous looking dragon priest. So, thank y'all so much for coming in and watching with me. If you missed the first part of the stream and need some background on like what Chion's deal is, uh, it's going to be up on my YouTube channel once it's done processing. And you can watch the beginning, get to know a bit more about her and her situation. So yeah, thank you again for coming and watching. Uh, if you haven't seen my newest video that's up, I did an anime guessing challenge with my friend Lai from Hatter Insanity Cosplay. Uh, and she also has a video on her channel uh, where we did anime Pictionary. So if y'all want to go watch those, go ahead to my channel, click on my video, and you can find her video from mine. And then come back, of course, next week for more videos and more streams. I will be uh, playing this again next week. We're going to see how far we can get and hopefully we will have a good time. Thank you again. I love y'all so, so very much. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Mwah!